You know what's crazy? I feel like the Switch hasn't even begun to thrive yet. Yes, it's selling millions. It's doing very well. Fastest selling console of all time. All that jazz. But we're still missing out on huge stuff like Pokemon and Smash Brothers. And there hasn't even been an original Mario Kart yet. Or even an Animal Crossing game. So it's like... We've gotten so much success already with no virtual console, no applications, there's no Netflix for God's sake. How is this console doing so good? It just doesn't make sense. But it does because Nintendo is destroying it with first party content and they're actually getting support from third party developers that's actually seeming like it's going to be keep going on for a long time. Uh, Bethesda already said they're dedicated. I'm pretty sure we're going to see more EA games. Ultimately, I think Nintendo is just super killing it right now. And it seriously blows my mind that the Switch is having so much success with the same games. Like Mario Kart already. Mario Kart Deluxe, Mario Kart 8, whatever, has already sold more on Switch than it did on Wii U. And it was just announced that Bayonetta sales has already surpassed the Wii U. It's seriously crazy that these old games can still sell just as good on the Switch. I can't imagine if or when Virtual Console makes its way to Switch how well those games will sell. As you already see, like small indie games are selling amazingly on Switch. I've said this before, but there's indie games like Oceanhorn that sold more on Switch in the first week than the entire lifetime sales of the Xbox One and PS4 versions. I'm not sure who these people are that are buying all these games. I mean, of course I am, but it doesn't even seem like the Switch has made its way fully into the mainstream yet, and it's already killing it. And as I was saying, whenever an original Pokemon game finally makes its way on Switch, this console is going to blow up. I can't imagine how much it's going to sell. That was a super long intro, but I just had to get it off my chest. Let's jump into the news. So as I was saying, Bayonetta 2 has already outsold the Wii U version on Nintendo Switch with a whole lot less time on the market and a couple million less Switches compared to the Wii U's lifetime sales. Aside from that though, one other thing I wanted to talk about today was God of War, that's right, you heard it correctly, God of War was inspired by Metroid along with a slew of other games, but they talked about it in an interview with GameSpot, I believe, I'm going to probably link it in the description below, but they said they drew a lot of inspiration from Metroid and Castlevania. Isn't very surprising after playing the game, I can see where these elements would come into play. The game sort of becomes an open world game, yeah the developer says it's more of a linear experience, but honestly it's pretty much an open world game. And as you play through the game you get a bunch of new items and a bunch of new types of attacks, and this allows you to get into areas that you previously weren't allowed to get into. So pretty much the game wants you to go back to areas and re-explore places and see what else you can get into that you couldn't before. It's honestly a really cool part of the game, and I know this is a Nintendo channel, but if you have a PS4, God of War is a must play. I might just link it at the end of this video I did a review on it and I just absolutely love that game seriously amazing but anyway it comes as no surprise that Castlevania and Metroid would inspire games they probably inspired millions of developers throughout the world but it's just a little tidbit I wanted to add in this video just because Metroid is freaking awesome and so is God of War so definitely go pick it up this has been a pretty short episode of Nintendo News Block be sure to let me know what types of videos you want me to make and what types of upcoming games you maybe want me to cover. There's a bunch of smaller Switch games, but I'm trying to find a different and unique way to cover them in comparison to other channels. But be sure to give me some advice. Give me your thoughts on everything. Have you played God of War? What do you think about it? And what do you think about the Switch selling so many copies of these games on the platform? And honestly, folks, I think this is just the beginning. I think the Switch is just getting started. There's still so much to come. So many games to look forward to. I'm Brett Madlock, and I will talk to you guys later. Sleep I get a little bit, love I got a lot of it. Wife is number one, but she's also kind of delicate. Keeps her on top, kind of hard to operate, and I don't care. Cause my platinum number's 48. 25 years old, really like to lose.